Oh hi Ogazamash, Vadashiva Payakiti, and welcome back to my diary of Animal Crossing New Leaf. So, let's start with the first day of this last week. As so often, I do not have a picture for this one again, except for the board, so there you go. There was going to be a fireworks show, starting on Sunday, so at the very end of the week, at 7pm. And this is what we're starting with. We don't know what kind of weather it is right now and nothing, but oh well. It's probably sunny because it's summer, but yeah. <laughs> I had a little guy come by, which at first I was confused about because he's technically a beaver. But the first time I saw him, I thought he's some sort of dragon demon something because of the weird hair that's standing off on his size and the weird tail and just the face that you can't see right now but it, it I was confused really until I figured out or he told me that his name is Shrunk and he wants to open a club here in Miao Mew called Club LOL yep he also showed me where he wanted his club to be basically it was gonna be next to the new home is Estate, real estate shop. I keep forgetting the name of that shop. I'm not good at this. <laughs> in any case, he was gonna put the club in the downstairs next to that new real estate shop. So, yeah. But I had to go get some signatures from villagers in my town. Basically, because, oh, it's gonna be loud in the evening. But there's no problem, really. I don't think they ever say no to it. You just go around and fetch some signatures from some of your villagers. I think it was six or something. And, well, the club's gonna be um, opening soon. There you go. Of course, I had more projects that got finished. Here we finished the campsite. And, as always, there was a little ceremony. I think I should start skipping them at some point. Because, man, it's always getting the same. I mean, it's neat, but it's always getting the same, you know. There you go. I went to the island to play Easy Fossil Finders Tour. I think I already explained how this works. No, I don't. I didn't. So basically, there's those stars on the floor sometimes, and you dig them up, and he basically tells you uh, what you need to. F Actually, that's not how the game works. Oh yeah, that's how the game works, yeah. Okay, there is a, sorry, there's a house. Actually, there's two houses on that little map. And one of them shows what kind of dinosaur you're supposed to put into that other empty house. And in what order. Sometimes there's more than just one fossil. Sometimes there's those little standees, whatever. And yeah, you have to dig up the whole freaking map wherever there's a star space. And you have to, you know put that fossil together. The easy tour is still very simple, but later on it gets pretty complicated. <laughs> For example, in the official fossil hunters tour, it's a little more complicated than in the easy one, because I believe it doesn't tell you... Oh yeah, it does tell you what it is, but I think it's just more stuff. I think it's the... The actual elite tour where it tells you, where it does not tell you actually what kind of dinosaur it is and you have to figure it out by yourself. That's pretty tricky, my god. But it's it's cool, it's fun. I also joined the giant dragonfly tour which basically you catch big dragonflies and that's it. Yeah, there's the elite fossil hunter tour so basically yeah, they don't tell you what kind of dinosaur fossils uh, are in that sample house and you're gonna have to find it out by yourself which sometimes can be easy but sometimes it can be like oh god what the hell is this so you're gonna have to keep running into that empty house and put down fossils until you figure out what the hell kind of dinosaur that is Ooh, tricky man seriously in any case let's move on to the catches of the day I caught a giant snake head which was Actually, one of the fish that Slim really complained about, I just casually dropped my fishing rod into the river and got it out. I didn't even try to catch anything, I was just kind of doing it for lols, pretty much. And I'm like, oh, a giant snake cat, and Slim has been sitting next to me searching for hours and couldn't find it. He got so frustrated. <laughs> 
I just had kind of luck like that. He tweeted it actually if you've been following him or me or both, so there you go. And I found a dace, which is not much to say about that one, so let's move to the next day pretty much. Alright, so I don't think there's... I still forget, I, I seriously keep forgetting to take those starting pictures sometimes. We found Katie, which I've seen on pictures before and I really loved her. I didn't know at first that she was just a like an event NPC or whatever you want to call it. But she came to my town randomly and she wanted to go on a trip with me pretty much. You just encounter her randomly sometimes in your town. So I took her to Slim's town and it's pretty much all you gotta do. You just bring her to some town from one of your friends. Your friend can't act can actually not even see Katie. It's just she disappears pretty much. You're the only one who sees her if she's in your town. And the other person who, who leads the town, the other town you bring her to, doesn't even see her. So there you go. She's cute. Well, then I took another snapshot of those nice moon nights with the stars and everything. I'm just seriously a sucker for this. I just really felt like throwing it in here. So, there you go. I also found Gulliver for the first time. It was late evening, as you can see. And he was laying at the beach, as always. And you had to, like, talk to him a whole bunch of times. Like, at least five or six times until he actually moved his butt up. But it's kind of a little different in this version because he actually has some sort of temporary amnesia and he's gonna ask you where was I going? What country was I going to? And then he describes it a little bit. Like my first one was Australia. He described that there was um, koalas and kangaroos and you get a choice of like four or five countries and you have to pick what it is. If you apparently send him to the wrong country, he still sends you something the next day, I believe the next day. But if you send him to the right one, he obviously sends you something from that specific country. So I got a little Irish Rock model the next day, pretty much. So yeah, there you go. I also did some late night sea diving. And I had a scallop. I found a scallop. And then suddenly Pascal here, this friggin' weird beaver thing, approaches me. At first I actually got almost scared a little bit. I'm like, whoa, who the fudge is that following me here? But um, apparently if you give him the scallop, he's gonna give you a piece of furniture from this weird sea line. I actually got a Jolly Roger um, flag. So there you go. Apparently it happens whenever you get a scallop at some point. Okay. Catches of the day, the pop-eyed goldfish, which is kind of cute. It's one of those small shadows in the river, so you can't really miss it. It's, it's pretty simple. A guppy, or however you say, guppy. <laughs> it's not one of those small shadows. It's it's really cute in a way. It looks like it has a one of those carnival festival dresses on. It's kind of neat. There's a goldfish. Those are, again, all in pretty much the same shadow size, so it's not too hard to find them. Um, it's just kind of, you know, some of them are kind of rare, even though it says all year round here, so. And I got an oak sylph moth, which this thing is huge. It's basically on just normal trees. It's going to be huge. You can't miss it. You just sneak up and catch it at the end. I got a Dorado, which I believe is worth quite a little bit, but don't hold me to it. It's been a while. I also got the catfish, which again is one of those fish that Slim was looking for quite a while and I just didn't take me too long, basically. <laughs> oh, and it says pond uh, river. That's basically where the river gets really big, that big um, place. Like, where it's not just very narrow, it's th that big open place, pretty much. There you go. And I also got a scenic painting. My god, I can't talk. So, that's pretty much it. 
Sometimes, again, you get those from Red, because he's in town. There's A few are always fake, though, so you really gotta know your art. Um, and sometimes, in very, very rare occasions, you get the paintings from villagers, pretty much. But sometimes they're fake, and the problem is you can't see them, and you're just buying them blindly, so... You're not gonna know until you actually bought it and inspected it, so... Yeah. Okay, let's move on to the next day. Whew, it was raining like hell and it looked like the apocalypse outside, but I'm tan as hell. That's kind of something that almost bothered and annoyed me because it's like, if you're at the beach and or the island, you start to get a tan, at least until mid-September, I heard. And ah, it's just obnoxious. If you spend more than 15 minutes basically in the sun, unless you bring a hat of some sort, then you don't get a tan, but... Man, I looked so bad. I looked like freaking I was covered in chocolate or something. <laughs> it looked a little awkward, not gonna lie, but yeah. And I guess I found Pete walking around and I figured I should take a picture because you don't really see him too much. He just sometimes appears in town and uh, delivers letters. Obviously you don't really see him delivering letters. Um, the only way you can see him on purpose basically is if you overload your mailbox so if it's full and you can't get all the mail in it's gonna start rattling and stuff so that's how you can see him on purpose because he's gonna come talk to you and be like man you should clean up your mailbox and then I'm gonna deliver the rest to you later <laughs> pretty much so there you go I also had a camper in my town by the name of snake he's some sort of ninja bunny or something He's one of those jock personalities, so basically like Kid Cat, who's already in my town. And I pretty much figured, yeah, why not? We don't have a bunny yet or anything, so let's invite him, I guess. I didn't even really feel too strongly about him. Like, you know, I didn't feel like, oh yeah, he's super awesome. I need to have him. I just kind of invited him because I like to have some variety in my town based on, you know, animals and maybe even personalities. So I invited him. Yep. And I started a project a few days ago, I believe, at the station, which was the dream suit, and I finally finished it because I, you know, went back to farming money or bells. So there you go, we finished it. I also paid off my home loan, so yeah, time to expand, as you know, right? <laughs> Here's a few screenshots of... You know, the amount of stuff I caught, basically, or the, how much I made from fish I caught. There's 92,000 bells for stuff that I sold. 101,000 for stuff I sold. And even 111, just for fish. Summer is really great, especially, like, around the island. Or sometimes even, like, around your ocean, in your town, especially when it rains. My god, you can catch so many good fish, and you can make a lot of money, as you see. And that's how you're gonna pay off your house, and your dream suits, and whatever else you buy or do. Okay, so, catches of today, uh, snail, which you can find on bushes that you should buy at the island for 5 medals. Those hibi hibiscus bushes, doesn't matter if it's red or yellow or whatever. They're just gonna spawn whenever it rains on those bushes, so you should probably have some. We have a hammerhead shark, which, man, this took me forever to catch. Slim already had it, and I'm like, man, it's the only shark still missing. I need that, but it took forever. However, in the end, I got it. For him, it took forever to find the saw shark. That was funny, I had the saw shark pretty early, so... Uh. Then we have the Kola Sant, which is one of those fossil fish. Again, I think you have to get it when it rains, starting from some specific time on. I think I tried to catch it around 7. It's usually a good thing. Like 7 in the evening, obviously. It's usually a good thing, so there you go. Well, that's pretty much it for this day, so let's move on. Yep, more gray sky, so, but who cares? I actually like when it rains in the game. It's, it's pretty neat. It's really cool. I like it. 
And, well, here we have my interiors, which, well, not much to say. I'm just making little by little progress. I bought some furniture from houses I've looked at in the that academy showroom like in your main street that where you go through the big arch uh, with Isabel's brother for example that housework set there on the right and I think even a pop-up book there on the bottom front I don't know I just sometimes go there and check if people have interesting furniture that I would like to so that's where I also found that gamer case there. It's so cool. It actually also exists in black. I've seen it in black. So if you want one and you find you find that pink's too girly, then just get the black one. Then Mr. Kit Kat had his birthday, which of course I had to go because I really like Kit Kat, and I got him a volleyball net because he's such a sport fanatic. He's like, "Oh my gosh, I can't believe you got me a volleyball net." And I was really happy because he was super happy about the gift, so it was cool. Again, you just spend a little time in there, you bring them a gift. It's usually better because you get extra points for that, and it's just n nice, you know. Just wanted to bring him something because he's my friend. Yes. So here we have the uh, ceremony. I dropped the board there for a second. The ceremony for the Dream Suite, and there's this. Well, anteater looking animal there on the left called Luna. She's the one leading the dream suite. It's really cool. I, I'm really, really happy. I should almost make a whole friggin' episode just about the dream suite sometime. I actually do plan on visiting a lot of towns, and especially when I once I got the cable from Slim to actually use my 3DS recording board, I can technically go to you guys towns in in a dream obviously and um you know make some footage and maybe like talk a bit a, a little about it my god and maybe almost make like a little review in a sense if you want i'd totally be up for that that would be cool and i also would like to give you an actual tour of my town at some point when i have that cable it's gonna take another while but i hope i'm getting it soon so there you go it's not basically it's not just gonna stay as these screenshots is what i'm saying Okay, so I built another bridge because, man, there was this weird... My river is just kind of weird. It's It needs at least three bridges, pretty much. So I built another one and, well, obviously I paid it off pretty quickly. Bridges are 128,000. So there you go. I then went to the Dream Suite for the first time, actually. And I was just curious. I wanted to try it out. This is how it looks on the inside. You basically just lay down on that bed there on the right, pay 500 bells, and then you can either input a dream address if you know one, or you can uh, go to some random dream, or you can go to a dream from a specific country, or whatever. You can use by, uh, you can search by usernames, by I think even town names if I'm not mistaken. So there's a lot of opportunities and stuff to do. I went to this town which had this neat little flower clock and I felt like taking a screenshot so here you go and she I think it's a girl who leads this town she also had this nice arch there in the back with uh, balloons like balloon arch this is pretty much the person whose uh, town it is she was Japanese um, so she was speaking in Japanese I just went to some random place in Japan pretty much because I wanted to see what they what, what they have because I know that they had the game way earlier and that they could do a lot of cool stuff so I also was really really in love here with this Halloween furniture and I'm I really want it so it's awesome I had to take a screenshot again I didn't take too many screenshots of this town or of, of other towns I visit in general because at some point I just want to make actual footage again hopefully soon this is why you should send me your dream coats seriously <laughs> well that's pretty much it for that day so we're close to the weekend well sunny day let's jump right into it <laughs> 
I finished the bridge, obviously, so we had a little ceremony. This is how it looks now. It's, it's really neat. It's good. It's gonna keep me from having to go all the way to the side. Freaking detours, my god. And I also found Phineas again, who gave me a skilled angler badge. It's proof I've caught a lot of fish. Basically, if you go fishing a lot and you catch a lot of stuff, so there you go. I was happy about that. I also wanted to check on my points because I got a letter that day that said, Congrats! You hit 10,000 points and we're giving you a gift now. So I wanted to check how much, how many points I have exactly. And he said it was 13,621. Pretty good. I wasn't even trying too hard. It's really good to have some of those seasonal uh, items in your room. For example, in summer it's um, basically fireworks. So... There you go. This is how it looked when I got that high pointage. Pretty much just because I put a few fireworks there on the floor in my house, I got a high score. It's called seasonal items, I think, and it's it's basically a quote unquote happy item and that gives you extra points. Next to you having a complete series of some furniture. So there you go. And I started another project in my little park, as I call it. It was that face cutout standee where you can make pictures and you can put your own design on it. Because I really wanted it and I felt like, yeah, you know, if people come here to visit Meow Mew, they're probably going to sit down in the park and they're probably going to want to take silly tourist photos. That's why I put a face cutout standee there. And um, obviously I paid it off because they're... Not so expensive. I think they're around 50,000, but don't hold me to it again. I keep forgetting stuff. <laughs> so here we have another freaking wisdom spout of the captain. You gotta respect yourself, kitty. You're wonderful. And I'm like, I love you too. That's great. I wanted to show it. So <laughs> He's really nice. He's like your in-game friend who really... Gives you a lot of compliments, almost creepingly so sometimes. <laughs> there you go. I also got another badge later in the day. Again, Finesse usually just shows up whenever you have the requirements for a specific badge. I got the Village Representative badge. And you basically get that if you play a lot. Which, at this point, I did. A lot. Plenty. Yep. <laughs> Catches of the day. Battletail Dragonfly. It's... Pretty huge, it's pretty nice. Not much to say about it. A scorpion, which you can find in the evening, and you need to be quick because there's, I believe, a 1% chance of spawning, just like the tarantula. And the problem is, you can run through your town and it's can, it can suddenly appear somewhere, and, and then when you see it, you need to stop immediately, change to your bug net, and sneak. If you keep running, or if you're too slow, it's gonna come at you and sting you and you're gonna faint and wake up in front of your house. I actually did that, I believe, once. Because I didn't know what the hell it was. I found a tarantula once. And before I could even react or realize what the hell was happening, it stung me or bit me better. Scorpion stings. Uh, and I fainted and found myself in front of my house. And it was obviously gone, so... These are tricky ones. It's in the evening again, so... Start sneaking around in the evening when it gets dark. Well, that's pretty much it. We should go to the weekend then. Alright, Saturday. Nice sky, everything's good, everything's well. And this is how the interior of my house looked. That badge on top you can kinda see is what you get for 10,000 points with the academy. So, there you go. Ha, <laughs> then Snake finally moved in to my town. It usually takes a while if you recruit somebody via your campsite. It usually takes a few days before they actually move in. So, he moved in that day. But the day prior you see a little spacer or outline on where the house is gonna be. So, it's not just random random unless you didn't check your town at all before. So, there you go. This is the ceremony of my face cutout standee. I obviously had to put a Sailor Moon design on it, so... <laughs> now we can all go like... 
In the name of the moon, I'll punish you. Because it's fun. I then had 20,000 points. I got a letter again in the morning. You always get a letter when you get one of those milestones. And I wanted to check how much exactly I had. And it said 21,397. So barely over it. Uh, you get another gift for that too. You, there's milestones. It's like 10, 20, 30, I believe 50. And then I don't know what else. I think 100 and then just goes up gradually like that. I also have found Bladders uh, in a pensive mood again. And he wanted me to open a cafe because he had this friend or something who, yeah, who wanted to open a cafe or who needed a place or whatever the hell and I'm like, sure, okay, why not? I mean, that's cool. So I went to build it and Izzy said, this is just a preview, obviously it's kinda expensive to cafe it's around the dream suit, I think, something like that in price range. Izzy basically, when she imagines how it looks like, I took a screenshot and this is how it's gonna look pretty much I also got a little gift from the Able Sisters because I buy stuff there a lot. Uh, you get a mannequin every once in a while. I believe there are five in total. You can get them from the Able Sisters like in this room and also in the accessory room. So it's pretty cool because you can dress it um, with, however, or with whatever you want. And put it somewhere in your room and then you can basically talk to it, quote unquote. And you can change into whatever outfit you put there immediately, so you don't have to like dress yourself up um, or like tediously and whatnot. Those are rare, those are cool. I was happy to have one because I had some really neat ideas of what to do with it, so yeah. I also want to show this off because Biscuit wanted to have a special secret greeting with me, and I picked Funky Town. Um, I guess only people who've seen Supernatural, the TV show, are going to understand this joke now, so <laughs> I'll leave it at that. <laughs> well, that's pretty much it. Let's move on to the next or the last day of this week. Alright, nice sky and everything's good, so <laughs> let's go, right? Okay, so I finished the cafe, which again, it was about 300 and something thousand, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I forget, I keep forgetting if it's 298,000 or if it's 364 or 348, something like that. I forgot. I, but somewhere around there, you get the idea, right? So, <laughs> And I had some friends coming over that day because, if you remember, this was going to be the firework day. I had the... Uh, Wonder Toad, as I call him, coming over from Termina. And I had Slim coming over, and we pretty much looked at the firework. However, before I show you the pictures of that, I would like to go to the catches of the day because I would like to just let those firework pictures um, show with some music. I don't want to talk over them because it was really, really nice. All you need to know is that you get a gift from Izzy, if you talk to her, like a little hat with blinking stuff. And you can buy cookies from Red for 500 bells, I believe. And you get tickets, and depending on what ticket, you get a prize. You can't buy those things anywhere, and they're basically rare. I got some really neat stuff. In any case, catch of the day would be Piranha, because why not? Kinda creepy what kind of stuff we have in our seas and she goes swimming there, man. The Gar, which... What can I say to this? <laughs> a soft shell turtle, which is basically the only new fish you can get in August. It's kind of a little tricky to catch, but, you know, I managed. And that's pretty much it. So, with that, I am leaving you with my little fireworks slideshow. I was actually talking to my friend the SP Toad while I was playing this. It was cool. I was hanging out with Wonder Toad and Slim and the SP Toad and I was playing and it was it was neat. Now I guess I hope you enjoyed this week's little diary. And as always, 
this whole project is associated and affiliated with my shop on my website strawberry milkshakecom if you can check by there's always new stuff and if you can either buy something so you can help me support charity or you know tell your friends and family about it so maybe they can buy something that would be cool or just help me spread the link that would already be great <laughs> alright so as always thanks for watching thanks for joining and I'll see you next time bye y'all